So that is our brain. Look, this is our brain. It's really amazing, right? So today, the book that we are going to read is entitled The Amazing Brain. So are you ready to read it? Wait, but before that, okay, let's build our vocabulary words first. Okay, the first word is cerebrum. Say after me, cerebrum. Cerebrum means the largest part of many mammals' brains controls thinking, feeling, communicating, emotions, and some of the senses. So that is an example here. Look at a picture. Okay, number two. Electrodes. Say, electrodes. Electrodes means the points through which electricity flows into or out of a device, such as a battery okay and the third one is hemisphere say hemisphere hemisphere means halves of a sphere or a mostly round object such as a planet or a brain like this in the picture Number one, why did the author choose the title Three Brains in One for the second section?
Okay, the street was filled with angry protesters, shouting spectators and police. Leaving out the less comma makes it look like the police were shouting too. So that's incorrect. So to make it correct, you put comma after the word spectator to make it clearer. So that's the correct answer. The street was filled with angry protesters, shouting spectators, comma, and police. So we are talking about three groups of persons here. So remember, in a series of three or more or three items equals two commas. Four items equals three commas. We have more. Let's try to look at these affixes and root words also. So we have here the word unhelpful. Help is the base word or the root word. And on here is called prefix, which is put at the beginning of the word. And the word full here is called suffix, which means added at the end of the word. Another example, replaceable. So re is the prefix, place is the base word or the root word, and able is the suffix. So again, let's recall with the word unhelpful. Help is the root word, un is the prefix, and full is the suffix. So students, these are examples of prefixes and suffixes. So I want you to make your own example or make your own word using these affixes here. Okay? So that's all for today, students. Thank you for watching and listening. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you in our next lesson. Bye! And stay safe, okay?